It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Holly Holm and Ketlin Vieta. Well, if she is not the best ground and pound fighter in the women's game today, give me another name, right? Because she has taken it to the next level. And more often than not, when she gets you down and starts throwing punches, referee's coming in shortly thereafter. The referee jumping in to save her opponents has almost become yeah, um, synonymous with yeah, her fights. It's the way that her fights in. She's beating them so badly that the ref has to jump in and save them. We have not seen anyone so good at ground and pound since Tatiana Suarez first entered the UFC, and she has taken that to a whole nother level. Her ability to just control posture, control range, and land from anywhere from the top position is truly inspiring to watch. And not unlike you, she's got a mean streak. She told us in the oh. fighter meeting on Thursday, I'm about to give her some scars for life. So she's three nasty. souvenirs coming on the ground <laughs> if we get there tonight. All right, here she is and still one of the best bantamweights or featherweights on this UFC roster, Holly Holm. She has had Mike Winklejohn in her ear since she was 16, 17 years old, and she still believes she is adding layers to her striking game and getting better like a fine one. Holly Holm is the type of fighter that the canvas is completely open to painting on. Holly Holm was the 2012 female boxer of the year. Crazy. Then after all that time away from boxing, she then becomes the UFC champion and does that with a variation of skills, not just boxing. As you see in the Megan Anderson fight, when things got tough on the feet, she had an ability to take it to the ground and use her grappling to win that fight. But the biggest moment was the knockout of Ronda Rousey when she was a massive underdog to capture her first UFC championship. Maybe the most signature win in UFC history for any man or woman and one of the best highlights you will ever see. Holly Holm looking for more where that came from here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a wrestler holding a professional record of 11 wins, two losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Minos, Arizona, Brazil, Catlin, Venomino Vieira. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, five losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Holly, the Preacher's Daughter, Paul! All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out They front. touch them up, and we are underway. So here we go, round one. She is an outstanding striker. Her counterpart is a decorated grappler. But I know for you, as much as you love your jab, you know what got you to the big show, and more often than not, you stick to it. Yes, absolutely. And that's exactly what she needs to do as a grappler. She has to find a time to counter a strike into an attack to make body contact. Right. Then you, the great takedown ability that she has developed over the course of a lifetime. If she does not do that, she will find herself on the wrong end of a very educated jab from this phenomenal striker. Powerful leg kick land. Nice one, two there. What a punch. All 
pretty good entry here on the double leg takedown. No good. Vieta gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her attention. Oh, good series of punches by her there. She's in her zone. She's flowing right now. Handled inches like that, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you gotta shut your body off. So just over 20 total strikes for Holly Holm. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just over three minutes now to go. Holm gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Big kick land. Midway through round one. All right, so there it is again. Another sprawl, beautiful takedown defense. Everybody in this division is going to be trying to take her down, but tonight, unable to do so. When you're as good of a striker as she is, people are going to want to wrestle you. She has really done a good job of rounding out her takedown defense, using it to sprawl and brawl and get back to her feet. Oh, she's trying to connect on the overhand left. Not there. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Oh, she's got as good a tie clinch as anybody in this division, and she has gotten the tie plum here. She got the tie clinch because she's so well-versed in going and securing that position. Great job. Oh, how about that? Knee to the body, and it landed perfect. It landed in the perfect spot. Great job. Vieta gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. That's a big strike right there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, she lands a massive knee to the head. Back and forth we go. Right hand on the counter is true. And she misses with the left punch there. Just unable to quite find that range. Under a minute to go. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown, or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Oh, the right hand is there for. 20 seconds left. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Attempts the front kick there. Body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Oh, big punch land. Leg kick. <laughs> Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big kick land. The next with a right. 
excited as I've ever seen Wink in the corner. We'll see if Holm can follow it up here. Back to the orthodox stance. Well, she whips on the straight right hand. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Vieta. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting one, two. What about the one, two? What about the one, two, three? How about an uppercut? Follow him with three strikes. Allow him to string together. Be confident in knowing that you have practiced this. You are ready to land in combination. Let it flow. Ooh, what a punch. 76 total strikes have connected for Holly Holm. And above 50% too when it comes to the connection rate, landing with 51% accuracy against Ketlin Vieira. Oh, swing and a miss. How about the slip by her there? What a great job of moving her head right at the right time. Just out of range with the uppercut. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Got clip with the right hand. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Big punch from the twist. Another punch to the head. And that one was heavy. Beautiful punch. Oh, kick to the head. That'll rearrange some uh, some brain cells a little bit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what she's feeling right now after getting kicked in the head. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Vieta's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, man, she's got that head kick going now. Beautiful strike that. She has oh. You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Trying to stay in this fight. Big elbow. Real quick leg kick. Southpaw stands to orthodox now. 90 seconds remain in the round. Oh, now she's got that tie clinch. Appreciable damage could be coming. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch. And of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you'll leave everything else wide open. You leave everything open as you will dig big, brutal knees to the body. Throws the right hand there. Sides here. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, nice strike there to the body. She has worked the midsection to great effect here in this round. Straight punch land. Again, back into this position. That right hand landed. 15 seconds. Oh, nice jab there by Vieta. That's a good knee to the body. And that's the end of round number two. All right, well, what a round it was. You know, she kicks like a mule and that kicking game was on full display in that round, champ. And you see the damage that it's done to her opponent. Her opponent's limping back to the corner. She's moving much more slowly 
as the fight is going on. That was a great game plan developed by her and her coach. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. And how about her kicking game in the previous round? My lord. She is so good at just blasting kicks with no regard for what's coming back at her. She's not worried about the counter. She will check a reverse kick. She always moves her head off the center line when she throws kicks, so she is not in any danger of taking a counter right hand. Oh, man, I hate to laugh, but she lands another kick there, and now you're really starting to see that visible damage on the other side. When you start seeing the redness in the leg, that means that every time she is driving that baseball bat right into the thigh where she wants it to land, and now her opponent is limping, her opponent's wounded, her opponent's injured, and now watch the target be way more stationary. Well, busy night for the stats producer. 129 total strikes for Holly. Well, well dipping just below 50% in terms of the connection rate. Landing with 49% accuracy tonight thus far against Ketlin V8. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, she continues to work the body here to great effect. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, big head kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice kick. Another big leg kick land. Three minutes to go in round three. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's going to have to find something to follow that big strike that she's landing over and over. While we sat down with her on Thursday, she said it's all coming together, and she has put on a striking clinic tonight. Clearly her best performance in the UFC. The only danger was if her opponent could get it to the ground. She could not. And you saw how well a high-level striker can work whenever she's very comfortable. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Vieta's lower jaw does not look good. I'm not sure it could be any more swollen. She continues to fight through it. Let's see how far she can go. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Well, she keeps going back to that right hand. This one's not there for her. Oh, beautiful connection by her on that punch. She's so fast when she throws. That was a thudding leg kick. Right hand upstairs. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Nice leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Right hand punch to the clinch. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing on point. Her accuracy is on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Back to the feet now. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Vieta. Big leg kick land. There by Hall. She missed with that jab. 30 seconds to go here. Just unable to quite find that range. Holly Holmes kick to the body. Oh, she 
is as relentless as any striker on this roster, man or woman, eternally aggressive with her strikes. Gotta be careful, of course, not to gas out, but so far, so good for her here in this round. The next three rounds in the can were headed to the championship round. All right, so what a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Got to think her kicking game is going to be featured prominently here. She did decent work with the hands, but the kicking game was the thing that truly separated her from her opponent. She was landing kick after kick and truly slowing down her opponent in that round. Impressive is this young woman. High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. Yeah, I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast acting striker. Good jab. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Hall. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Fieta gets touched by that kick there. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Leg kick throw. Big knee there. Holm gets hit with a kick. And she lands the knee to the body now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. A swing and a miss by Vieta. Able to land with the left hand there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Vieta going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Beautiful kick. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? And she finally gets the takedown here. She kept on trying. She knew at some point she was going to be able to take this fight down. Certainly got her down here and with style points. Oh, keep it busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch. And Vieta is looking for that arm triangle now. Finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. She's got side control now. Maybe some of those knee strikes to the body. A lot of different things available to her here. Now, in the side control, you may feel like the bottom person that you have a lot of outs, but there is a lot of danger in those positions, too. A lot of danger in the knees coming your way. A lot of danger in the choke. So you have out, but you're also constantly under duress from a great top fighter. 
Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, she's got the full mount now, DC. Her ground and pound is fantastic, and maybe that'll open the door for a submission. It will have to open the door, because if she rushes, she'll fall off to the side. In the top position, especially in the full mount, you've got to be very, very patient. You Oh! for the end of round four. All right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of it. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually, that's enough to end the fight. Beautiful Unfortunately, round. the round Five goes on. Let's left. see what happens. The game plan is perfect. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Lands with the right hand. There's no give on that leg. Whoa! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Vieta gets caught with that punch. Big kick lands. And she's back in the clinch. Now she's got the Muay Thai club. Holly Holmes, wow! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Big knee! Swing and a miss by Holmes. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Three minutes now to go on the fight. All right, I'm going to put you in this fighter's shoes, okay? She is clearly losing this fight. Time is not her friend right now. Are you going for the finish or what? I am fighting down on the line, and I am swinging from the hip. Something has to land so that she can win this fight. Nice body to run right under the elbow. Just misses there with the left. Vieta gets in the clinch yet again. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Oh! She is old! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement. She looks like a master of grappling with a great movement 
that she's showing on the ground. 90 seconds and counting to go in the fight. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success with this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side under her, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbows. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Man, look at the redness appearing on the left side of her body there. That's starting to really add up. Right to side control, yep. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Holly Holm. Well, maybe some panic setting in for her opponent as she continues to land with the ground and pound. She cannot deal with the pressure of the top fighter. She's so good at grinding her strikes. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Vieta's looking for that arm triangle. All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her, and you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that striking to win a pretty easy decision. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Holly the Preacher's Daughter. Well, you gotta figure her challenges are only gonna get stiffer from here, but she passed this test tonight. She is your winner by unanimous decision. And she needed this, right? This goes to the maturity of her career. The fact that she is growing and growing and growing and can win a tough fight over an extended period of time.